Labą dieną, turim pono generolo Dodžias su vizita, tai yra tikrai svarbus vizitas ir svečias, kuris yra tikrai didelis Lietuvos draugas ir kurio ir na, nuopelnai kaip ir na, užimant šešias pozicijas ir, ir asmeniniai nuopelnai didant mūsų saugumo tikrai yra dideli ir pradedant 14 metais, kada jau pusę ir atsiant iš karto kuopą sustiprintą policijos misiją, mes į kitų atgrasimų priemonių prieš mūsų oponentą, tada kai įvyko krimo okupatą aneksiją ir, ir pradžia agresijos dombase, jau yra strateginis irgi mūsų partneris, yra Tai yra vienas iš mūsų valstybės saugumo garantų ir čia vėl visą laiką tęsiasi dialogus su jau administracija, generalitato ir skaitant ir, ir generalo vadžiose, kur tikrai didelis, didelį indėlį ir, ir asmeninį ir, ir atsižvelgantį savo pareigas pirmas vadžiasis neša. Ir šiandien buvo diskutuota saugumo situacija regione, įskaitant na, su naujomis na, mechanizmais, kaip priešakinių pajėgų dislokavimas Baltijo šalyje Lenkija, jie yra lideriauja Lenkijoje. Bet aišku, jos indėlis visur, Baltijos šalyse yra tikrai labai svarbus. Zapad pratybos, aišku, yra vienas iš na, Rusijos pusės pratybų. Na, tam tikrų rizikos vyksta atsižvelgianti trūkumus susijusius pirmiausiai su viešamu iš Rusijos pusės. Irgi tai šiek tiek paliotam, paliotam kitas bendradarbiajamos sferas, bendradarbiajant ne tiek regione, bet ir aišku mūsų planus ir situacija su mūsų dalyvavimu taipogi ir kitose operacijose įnešant savo indėlį į saugumą na, kituose regionuose na, įnešant į NATO ir mūsų aliansų saugumą taipogi. Uh, Minister, thank you uh, very much. Uh, first, let me say congratulations to uh, all the Lithuanian families. Uh, I saw hundreds of uh, young children today going to school, first day of school, uh, all dressed up and uh, carrying the flowers. I, what a great tradition. And you can see the excitement uh, of all these uh, young people going to school and also the relief on the face of the parents that finally the kids were going back to school. So congrats, congratulations on that. Um, secondly, I, I came uh, to Lithuania because I wanted to see uh, our soldiers, American soldiers that are, have arrived uh, in the last couple of days for an exercise called Banat Shield out in uh, Pabarada. Uh, but I also wanted to visit the Iron Wolf Brigade and the German uh, battle group, EFP battle group in uh, Rukla. I visited them yesterday. Um, I was so impressed. Uh, first of all, of course, uh, Colonel Stepp, as all the Americans call him, uh, Stepanovicius, the commander of the Iron Wolf Brigade is an excellent officer. The Iron Wolf Brigade is famous throughout Europe. Um, and I was also impressed with the quality of the German-led EFP battle group. Not surprised, impressed. Uh, and I think the EFP story uh, particularly in Lithuania, is a great success story uh, for the Alliance. In less than one year, 11 months from the decision at Warsaw by 28 nations to transition to, from assurance to deterrence, with the uh, most uh, visible sign of that being the creation of the Enhanced Forward Presence Battle Groups, only 11 months later, all four battle groups were deployed into the field already on an exercise. Uh, that's how fast the nations worked. That's how fast NATO was able to make an important decision and implement that decision. I'm from Florida, and I guarantee you in my home state of Florida, we could not inside 11 months make a big decision and implement it that same year. So the Alliance, I think, uh, should be congratulated. And at the, at the front of that is Lithuania, 
and Germany. Uh, the first to have the battle group in place, uh, and I must say uh, a great example of uh, leadership by Lithuania, leadership by Germany on making this concept, this strategic decision work and work well. Uh, the third and, and final point that I'd make, and then I'd look forward to your questions. Of course, um, this month, in the month of September, uh, exercises are going on everywhere. Uh, Russian Federation does its uh, annual exercise this year. It's the Zapad exercise, as they've done for years. Uh, it is the right, it's the duty, actually, of every country to exercise to maintain a level of readiness. And so, uh, which is what the West does as well. Uh, we'll be doing uh, exercises that have been scheduled for a long time. Aurora exercise in Sweden, Dragon exercise in Poland, uh, the uh, Rapid Trident exercise in Ukraine. This is business as usual, which is exactly what General Scaparotti, the Supreme Allied Commander, told us to do. He said, business as usual, always ready, always prepared. This is what professional military does. That's why our paratroopers are uh, in uh, Lithuania now. Uh, 94, a total of 94 soldiers. Uh, that's how many came up here to Lithuania. Um, and then I'll be back again in October for another exercise uh, called uh, Iron Wolf 2, where we'll have American soldiers participating with uh, the uh, Iron Wolf Brigade and the German-led EFP battle group. So. Uh, this is a normal part of uh, what professional militaries do. So, of course, um, the Russian Federation has made a formal announcement of how many people are going to be in there. Uh, but I thought uh, Secretary General Stoltenberg uh, a couple of weeks ago gave a, the best answer I've, I've ever heard. And he said, they've made their announcement. Um, they don't have a, I'm, I'm paraphrasing the Secretary General. Um, so the exercise hasn't happened yet, so we don't know how many they're actually going to put out there. The Russians have not given us a lot of reason to trust the numbers that they say, but, the, but again, the exercise hasn't happened yet, so we don't know what they're going to do. I think this would all be solved, and everybody would relax if uh, Russian Federation would invite media to everything that they do the way that Lithuanian armed forces do, that German armed forces do, that American armed forces do. Transparency. If the Russian Federation is truly interested in uh, stability and security, uh, then be transparent, invite media to see everything that they do. Uh, in the West, we have journalists at uh, think tanks, parliamentarians, um, civic organizations, they come to every exercise that we do so that uh, people don't have to be concerned or worried about what we're actually doing. So what, what is the, the risk could be alleviated with transparency? We have Russian inspectors come to our exercises all the time. I've had, I've had Russians visit me in Vilsack, Germany, and uh, at, during an exercise Anaconda in Poland, uh, we had them in uh, uh, Bulgaria during the Sabre Guardian exercise. I, I welcome it. I, I would love to have them follow me around all day and just to, to lower the temperature and to build some confidence. Well, first of all, because of the leadership of your minister, uh, your president, and the, and the quality of men and women that you have in Lithuanian Armed Forces, and with the presence of the German-led battle group, uh, I am very confident that uh, people will not make a mistake. Uh, I think that we have a good, the Alliance has created a, uh, an effective deterrence capability. Exercises, uh, Lithuanian modernization effort, uh, you have very good equipment and are continuing to invest in that. Um, so I'm, I feel confident in the deterrence capability that little, but that's actually in this in this region, but um, we also have to always remain vigilant uh, to continue to try and understand what potential adversaries might do. And of course, um, the alliance faces several different type threats, uh, and you have to be ready uh, for all of them. Um, so. Being, being alert is the responsibility uh, for all of our security services.
Well, what you will always have is a commitment of the United States to the security of all of our allies. For sure, that commitment is uh, ironclad. I think uh, the, whether or not there's a company that lives here or there's a battalion that comes for an exercise or uh, other capabilities that, that um, show up for, for exercises or are nearby, what will always be here is a U.S. commitment um, to the security of our allies. Now, back in 2014, when the uh, soldiers first came, and there, were, and there was a continuous uh, rotation, um, there were no EFP battle groups. Now you've got uh, a battle group with a thousand soldiers uh, and multiple uh, armored vehicles, tanks, uh, so much more capability uh, than when we had one company of paratroopers. Um, and, and the fact that that battle group is led by Germany and it's got five nations in it, and it's very well integrated into the Iron Wolf Brigade, you now have a, a combat capability that is significantly greater uh, than we had just one company of U.S. paratroopers here. So we're, the commitment remains there, but actually I think Lithuania is in a better place now than we, than we were a year ago. Thank you very Thank much. You. Thank you. Thank you.